Hey everyone, it's Living Dead Gal and welcome back to another CC haul. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my favorite finds from the month of February. So let's go ahead and get started with clothes. I've got clothing items for our masculine and feminine frames, and I've also got Maxis Match Hair and Alpha Hair for both masculine and feminine frames as well. I have a few accessories, and I actually didn't get any shoes this month. Let me know if you guys prefer for me to include shoes. I am trying to find ways to kind of consolidate these hauls a little bit, but still give you guys a lot of links. So I'm doing a couple things different. You'll see when I get to the hair section, instead of going through each and every single swatch, I'm actually just gonna show you guys like how the hair looks. And then if there's any accessories, I'll kind of show you the swatches for those. But that's pretty much it because at least for like Maxis match hair, we kind of know what most of the default swatches are. And so for the alpha hair, it's a little bit different, but with those, I just kind of showcase some of my favorite swatches or kind of like the natural hair color of my CC models. So you guys can let me know if you prefer that. I just feel bad because I know these videos can get kind of lengthy. It's because I get excited and I want to show you guys everything for each piece, but I'm trying to kind of speed it up so you get like kind of a glimpse at stuff. And and then you can kind of see if something catches your eye and then from there you can go to the link and kind of explore more. Let me know if this works for you. This one's definitely a shorter video but still a lot of good stuff. And while there's not shoes there's a ton of outfits and clothing items. There's a ton of hair items, more actually than what I had for last month, at least for hair. I know that much. So hopefully you guys still enjoy this and you kind of like this updated shorter format. I still did want to show you guys all of the swatches for the clothing items though, because I feel like for me, sometimes I can have a piece of CC where I'm like, oh, it's okay. But then there's like one pattern or swatch that really makes it a standout. So if you guys, you know, would rather me not show you all the swatches for the clothing items, I can do that too and make these even shorter. But I don't I don't know. I still kind of felt like I needed to do the clothing pieces justice and show you everything, but I did get a lot of good stuff this month. I'm trying to kind of continue to mix it up and keep it fresh and like look for new creators. Some of this stuff, actually probably a lot of the clothing items I did get off of The Sims resource this month. I was going through Patreon, but um, I was trying to look for some things that were not in early access so that you guys could download them right away. There's I think a few hairs and maybe a few clothing pieces that are in early access on the Sims resource, like the VIP, but they're all releasing like this week. So they should all be free and available by like Friday, I think. But it was just some of the hairs I found. They were so good and I had to show them to you that I like couldn't wait. I was like, no, like these are good. You guys can bookmark them and like get them on, you know, I think it's like March 1st is the latest for most of them. But I found a lot of like good variety of stuff and I tried to kind of, you know, not do too much from the same creators. Like I, I think sometimes for my hauls, I'll get like really excited and I'll have like 10 pieces from the same creator. So in this case, I tried to like mix it up a little bit more. Um, some of these creators you guys have seen in my hauls before, but some of them are creators who haven't posted in a while and they've come back and I'm excited about them. And others are newer creators that I found, especially some hair creators um, that I recently just found browsing through Tumblr. Tumblr is always one of my favorite places to find new creators because, you know, I can find a lot of the same ones based on like who I'm following on Patreon, but on like The Sims resource, it's a lot of similar creators. Sometimes there are newer creators that I'll find on there, but Tumblr is like the deep dive where I can find a lot of really cool, fun, unique stuff. You just gotta like really search through the hashtags. And one recommendation, if you are looking for CC on Tumblr, search by like, newest instead of like top finds because your top finds are probably going to be like the CC that you're more familiar with that's like more known and popular and sometimes you can find some really good stuff that gets shared out that just like isn't on like the top of the list. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about CC finding tips. I got some good stuff for our masculine sims this month as well. There is one collection. It's kind of the last collection that I feature by Sentate. It's their first like male only collection um, and it is stunning. It is beautiful. I really hope that they do more like that because they have a lot of amazing pieces or your masculine frame sims and a lot of really cool swatches. They're one of my favorite creators for CC in general um, and they have done stuff for masculine frames before but it's usually part of like a full set with feminine frames. And this was the first that was like masculine frame only. So they're I think it's like the very last set of clothes that I have for male sims. You'll see that in a bit but I found some stuff that was like new and some stuff that has been around for a while but again it was like creators that are newer to me or that I haven't like checked out their pages in a while so I found a lot of really fun stuff for them mostly tops for male sims but then I found a couple of like two-piece outfits and things like that again I still would like to get 
more. I still feel like it's lacking, you know, like I'm able to find so much more for the feminine frames, but you know, that's just me, you know, sound like a broken record for every single one of these CC hauls, but I still really liked the stuff I was able to find. And I do want to do a masculine frame only CC haul at some point, just like to really do a deep dive. And in that case, I'll probably do like a bunch of stuff that's like new to me or some of my like classic favorites. Um, you know, there's a lot of good creators for masculine framed sims, but there's just not, it's not the same level as for feminine frame. But this is the collection by Sentate that I was talking about. They just have some really fun swatches. And I love that they kind of do a mix of like really fun, funky patterns and prints. But then they also have your basics. So their pieces are really versatile. And I love that because I love like fun, flashy patterns, but sometimes you just need basics. So it's nice that they kind of give you both in one piece, which is really just perfect for, especially for masculine Sims. I love, I think this jacket is probably my favorite in the entire collection. Anyway, um, this is kind of going to round out everything for our masculine frames. And then after that, I've got a few accessories, not a whole lot. Um, I can try to get more for the, you know, future hauls. I just mostly focus on hair and um clothing items for these hauls and then when i do like my skin details and accessories and stuff i kind of just download those like from my favorite creators i don't usually include those in these hauls too much but i did find a few accessories that i thought were kind of cute like i love this little bag and backpack set um so if you guys want to see more of that stuff just let me know but i figured for the hauls like the main focus is really clothes and hair but i wanted to include just a few little accessory pieces like these leg warmers by trillic are so freaking cute i love them i can't wait to style a sim with them because they have such cute patterns they've got like i think they're like called the salt and or sweet and salty leg warmers. I can't remember the name of them, but they have like two different sets that are really cool patterns. And now we're moving into the hair. So again, just like last month, I've got a section for Maxis Match hair finds and a section for Alpha hair finds. And I will be labeling the chapters so that you guys can skip through. You know, if you are strictly Maxis Match or strictly Alpha, you can kind of skip through to the hair sections that you would like to see. I was really excited because Clumsy Alien is back creating. So I was able to get a CC set by them. Um, I showed a couple clothes and a couple hair items from them, but I found a lot of really pretty, really fun, unique hair this month. I found a lot of actually Max's match hair that like maybe might even be <laughs> like, it's like closer to alpha hair, but it's still technically Max's match hair. So I hope you guys like it. And I know this is moving like kind of fast through all the hair. Let me know, you know, if you guys like this pacing better or if you prefer me to kind of slow it down, like how I did in my previous hauls where I show you all of the swatches. But I was trying to just consolidate these hauls to make them a little bit shorter for you guys, since I know I tend to go on little tangents and ramble while I'm looking through, you know, showing you guys all of the CC clothes. So just let me know which you prefer more. But I was hoping that this would be able to pack in more items for you guys with like less of a lengthy video of just me kind of going on and on about custom content. Another thing I just wanted to let you guys know, I know that I have been kind of behind on posting content lately. I've been, you know, unexpectedly not posted for about like two weeks now, which I am, you know, going to get back on track very soon. That You should have a lot of content coming from me this week. I've just been, life's been busy. It's been crazy. And I actually am about to celebrate a birthday, my birthday this today, actually, um, the day that I'm recording this. And so I have just been like busy, like doing stuff with that and kind of, you know, fighting, trying to fight the aging process. <laughs> so it's just been a hectic time, but things are slowing down a little bit now and I should be back on track with my Let's Plays and some other content for you guys. But I definitely wanted to still put the CC haul together. I know I haven't posted much since my January CC haul, but I still wanted to kind of stay on track and get you guys some February content. I'm also going to be posting some content for the new stuff pack that's coming out. So leave a comment below if you guys are excited for that. But yeah, I just, I wanted to kind of get back in with the CC haul. I was able to work on the CC haul gradually over the past two weeks as I've been kind of busy and not able to like fully sit down and record. I was like, well, I can at least get started on a CC haul for you guys. So, um, you know, I know we're just now at the end of February. We're not even in March yet, but I thought it would be nice to share this stuff with you. Lots of really cute, like Valentine's Day themed stuff too. I was, I had a whole plan. I was going to do like a Valentine's Day cast. I was going to do like a um, Love Day mods video. And I had, I tried to record those and I had technology issues that day and then life just got hectic. So I at least wanted to get this CC haul up for you guys and share all of the cool finds with you. So anyway, uh, we are getting 
pretty close to the end of the video. I think these hairs here um, are some of the ones that are like still in the VIP, the, the last few feminine framed hairs, but those should be available by like the end of this week, I think. And then I've got some masculine framed hairs as well. Not as many as I'd like to, and I'd also like to be able to get a few more like more textured hairs in the future but this was kind of what I was able to find so I'm gonna try to do a deep dive again next month and continue to try to improve and find new creators for the masculine framed content but anyway we are nearing the end of this video so thank you guys so so much for watching as always links will be in a document or a patreon post in the description and I will see you all in the next one bye